Hi, this is Greg from Greg's Bass Shed. This is the second video in my Bass Beginner series. If you're an absolute beginner, then look at the first one, which is called Starting Out. That will give you an idea of what the string names are and what all the frets are and will get you started. So in this video, we're going to look at reading music, how we start reading music, how we read rhythms. So hopefully there'll be a screen next to me where you can reference the written music throughout the video. So if we start with the string names and how they're written down. So E, A, D, and G. So you'll see there's a bass clef that's the sign, first of all, so we always read in bass clef and that's where the notes are written, the E, A, D, and G. So we look at filling in the notes in between the strings. So if we start with the E string, we have E, first fret F, second fret F sharp or G flat, third fret G, fourth fret G sharp or A flat, fifth fret A. So E, F, F sharp or G flat, G, G sharp or A flat, and A. Now, if we think of, say, if you look at the piano, the, the black notes are the sharps or the flats. So you'll notice that, say, the second fret is called F sharp and G flat. So it depends on what key the piece is in, and we'll talk about keys in another video. But all you need to know is that it's called that one fret, that second fret there could be called F sharp or G flat. Um, and if you look at the piano, you'll notice that there's a couple of white notes that don't have a black note in between them, and they are from B to C and E to F. So on the bass, you don't have any sharps or flats between B and C and E and F. Okay, so we look at the A string. So open, A, first fret, B flat, or A sharp, second fret, B, third fret C, fourth fret C sharp or D flat, fifth fret D. Okay then onto the D string. So we have open D, first D sharp or E flat, second E, third F, fourth F sharp or G flat, fifth G. So we go on to the G string. So open G, first G sharp or A flat, second A, third A sharp or B flat, fourth B, fifth C. And you'll notice that the fifth fret is the same as a note below. So you have on the E string, the fifth fret's A, and there's A open. And then on the A string, the fifth fret is D, and then D open. And then the fifth fret, G, and then G open. Right, now, so we can look at rhythms. And the rhythms are basically how long you hold the notes on for. So first of all, a whole note or a semibrieve is written with a round circle. The next note is a half note or a minimum, and then we have a quarter note or a crotchet. Then we have an eighth note or a quaver. Then we have a sixteenth note or a semiquaver. So, the old-fashioned way or the, the more classical way of saying it is is with the um, semibrieve, minimum, crotchet, quaver, and semiquaver. And the more modern way or the American way is whole note half note, quarter note, eighth note, sixteenth note. Okay, then we'll look at the equivalent rests for these notes. So if you look there, we've got whole note rest or, or a semi brief rest. Then we have a half note rest or minimum rest. Then we have a quarter note rest or a crotchet rest. Then we have an eighth note rest or quaver rest. And then a sixteenth note rest or semi quaver rest. 
Okay, now we'll put these notes and rests together and look at some different rhythms. So the first one. So that's two eighth notes, an eighth note rest, another eighth note and two quarter notes. So if you count one, two, three, four, ba, 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 ba. And this one, I was always taught this particular rhythm as we are the champions, so if it helps, we are the champions, we are the champions, we are the champions, we are the champions. Just helps you to remember that rhythm. So try tapping that out, try to subdivide it with the beats in the bar, and you can um, yeah, tap it out yourself, just try and work that through and work out if you understand the note values. So another rhythm we'll look at is a drum fill. So this one's flats and daggerum. Flats in Dagenham, flats in Dagenham, flats in Dagenham, flats in Dagenham. So you've got quarter note, quarter note, two eighth notes, and a quarter note. Flats in Dagenham, flats in Dagenham, flats in Dagenham, flats in Dagenham. So try and tap that one out. Look at the look at the combination of the eighth notes and quarter notes. See if you can work that one out. Okay, so if you put the rhythms and the notes together, we're going to look at Sherry, which is um, you probably all know. It's by um, Frankie Valley, and I played this for quite a few years in the West End in London in Jersey Boys. So, classic bass line. So, that starts with quarter note, then an eighth note rest, and an eighth note, and that pattern there repeated three times. And then you've got two eighth notes, an eighth note rest, and another eighth note. So it's two whole bars or two whole measures for that pattern. Okay, so that's a rhythm and the notes C, C, A, A, D, D, G, G, A, B, C, C, A, A, D, D, G, G, A, B, C. Okay, so hopefully some of that made sense. It is difficult to start off. There's a lot to take in to, to work out. When you're reading a piece of music, you've got to know the rhythms got to know where the notes are written, all the extra detail in there. So hopefully this is a bit of a taste of it and, uh, and it'll give you a few tips to kind of start to look at it all. If you've got any questions then please uh, get in touch with me, message me or leave a comment below. Um, so the next lesson we're going we're gonna to continue with the, with the reading music. Um, if there's any topics you want to cover with that, anything in particular, then just get in touch with me. So the next video is coming out next Friday, so please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that. If there's anyone you think who might like it, then um, please pass it on to them. Um, as I said, any messages, any comments, please leave them below. Thanks a lot. This is Greg from Greg Spaceship.